When it comes to cryptocurrency, I guess nothing should surprise us, especially when it comes to banks versus cryptocurrency. Some definitely have been intensifying in a way their war against cryptocurrency by blocking credit card purchases, debit card purchases and other things that I'm pretty sure that you are aware of. But this one takes it to another level. Poland's central bank secretly paid YouTubers to slander cryptos. A Polish YouTuber with around 1 million subscribers was paid circa 30,000 by the Central Bank of Poland in collaboration with the Polish Financial Supervision Authority to portray cryptocurrencies in a negative light without disclosing the payment in the video. March Dubel, whose video I lost all my money, has half a million views portraying cryptocurrency as a way to get rich quick to only find out he had no money to pay for a date at a restaurant and was generally left penniless due to cryptocurrency investment. Now, for those that are investing in cryptocurrency, this is not a financial advice, but we should always remember never invest more than you can afford to lose. Marcin Dubel. If he has 1 million subscribers and he has invested all his money into cryptocurrency, I wouldn't even believe it if I have to be honest with you because let's be honest, it, it's hard to believe that someone that never posted videos in regards to cryptocurrency or it's making quite a good amount of money, all of a sudden it's gonna invest all their money into cryptocurrency and they're not gonna be able to pay for a date in a restaurant. But hey, I guess that was the, the plot or <laughs> that was the the video he had to make. The video description contains the hashtag, uh, okay, I'm not gonna even try to read it, a website by Poland Central Bank and AFC, which portrays digital currency as a risky, heavy, no guarantee and not classified as electronic money. The Central Bank of Poland has admitted that it carried out a campaign on a issue of virtual currency in social media without providing any further comment on the matter. Nor do they explain why their paid advertising was undisclosed in the video by Martin Dubé, who is just one, among others who received such payments, including Planeta Fucked Off, a YouTuber channel with 1.5 million subscribers. So it looks like they definitely went for the big, big uh, subscribers out there, C people that have lots of subscribers, therefore they can reach large audience. And as we can see, which by the way, I'm unable to guarantee if this is 100% correct, but I would say why not? Banks obviously seems to have a grunge when it comes to cryptocurrency and that is due to the fact that they are seeing that people, young generation and even old generation are moving their fiat currency into cryptocurrency and they no longer rely as much on banks. The legality of the action by Poland Central Bank is unclear as usually within a democracy it is illegal for state actors or contractors to engage in propaganda directed at their own citizens. And that would be interesting to see if anyone's gonna do anything towards the banks when it comes to this propaganda because let's be honest if that was done by somebody else but the banks let's say us as small people and we did a propaganda towards the banks or anything like this I'm sure we would have been it would have been some you know repercussions let's say whether the video in questions can uh, can so be classified as probably a gray line but from a visual perspective the storytelling appears to be highly bi uh, biased portraying the bay as a victim of a navy mastermind who counts the cash the bill lost so subtly emphasizing that fiat printed by the central bank is what has value even though it's backed by nothing not even mining energy or computer code and less subtly they have dubio girlfriends dump him because the pizzeria could would not accept crypto so she had to pay for the date with fiat man this is some crazy soap opera over there that has been playing out on this video and i actually haven't even seen the video but i'm guessing it's funny i mean if his girlfriend dumped him because he couldn't pay for a pizza i guess that's for him, good for him because <laughs> you know <laughs> you get dumped because of pizza come on man oh wait it could have been one of those expensive pizzas that cost ten thousand bitcoins you just never know Poland's lack of access in general to English language information might make them especially uh, susceptible to such propaganda, but that the central bank has found it fit to take action does suggest one of the leads technology advances country in Eastern Europe with a uh, paltry internet speed ranking of 41 is so is for a reason. Yes, it's true. Uh, I guess not everyone in Poland does speak English, therefore they can't see the mainstream or channels that talk about cryptocurrency and the future about cryptocurrency so when a uh, big youtubers uh, do slander cryptocurrency and p 
people in Poland does see it, they may get scared and may stay away from it. But there you have it, folks. Banks are taking it to another level and they are paying YouTubers to slander cryptocurrency. It makes you wonder, is that happening in other countries as well? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, the link will be down below. I'm also going to link the channel for you and the video so you can check it out. But I guess we're not going to be able to understand it unless you speak Polish. And if you do, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about it. But it does sound like a funny video and it does the if anyone did believe what was played out on this video, I guess, um, oh well, that's it. You can make up your own mind. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the channel. Subscribe if you care. Come follow me on Twitter and I'll see you in the next one.